Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simple, No Subjects channel. Uh, thank you for all the super thanks. Thank you for all the likes. People have been hitting the like button. I appreciate it. Make sure you continue to do both of those things. Make sure you check out my, uh, check out the store and see if there's anything on there that you would like. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Like I, Me, personally, I'm going to buy some of those things myself. Uh, but we at home. We finna do the Isaiah 4 and 1 home edition. So, in case you never read, Isaiah 4 and 1 says, In that day, seven women will take away. Hold on, hold on. Seven women will take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own food, wear our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name. Take away our disgrace. Hold on, y'all. The disgrace is... All the childish selfishness. Wanna be thoughts but married, which equals divorce and getting divorced great. Getting child support here and there. They tell you just go ahead and let loose in there. And then down the line, they not happy. Down the line, a lot of men would love to have them. That's what you hear. So we got to get back to Isaiah 4 and 1 because this is the way we should be thinking as men. I know little fake, ex lame, square geek content creators who have a success on YouTube want you to believe that somehow everything is dependent on money. Money is part of the equation, but not the equation. So understand that. You, you can have money and still be an idiot. You can have money and still be a punk, a jerk, a spaz. It don't take it don't change those things. Money is important. Get your money, but just understand that. I'm gonna make sure you do. You're gonna have to stop watching my videos not to understand that you ain't better than somebody just because of money. Okay, what other ways are you better than them? And and preachers and content creators, preachers, let's please understand this. People giving you money. Because they like you does not mean you're talented, okay? It just means people like you. It just means that there might be some powers that be somewhere to say, okay, we're going to let him through the cracks. So, that's the disgrace. Gold digging is the disgrace. Where you should say, you know what? A lot of these women out here, they just have their money. So I'm going to find a couple that's into me and I'm into them as well somewhat. And I'm going to stick to them. Some of y'all need to go get divorced. You need to file papers. Your, your, your wife just ain't been a wife. She barely a roommate. Some of y'all need to, to pack up and, and move out of these women's houses. You should have never moved with them to begin with. But we got to... We got seven things we're going to get into. We're going to get into seven reasons why relationships and marriage are dying. These might be a little different than the short. If you watch the short, these might be a little different because I'm going somewhere kind of different with the things that I'm going to mention in this Isaiah 4 and 1 broadcast. Now, every man should have an abundance mindset. You should, you should look at it like I'm a man. Therefore, I can be a king. You're a woman. Therefore, at your best, you can only be a queen. You see? And a king is a king. Now, watch this. This, this is important. A king is a king whether he has a queen or not. A queen is not a queen unless she's appointed as one by a king. Y'all be out here calling these women queens and they ain't got they, no account. They ain't got no man. You say, well, I slept with three dudes last week. You ain't got no man. Just first of all, real men, like men that's being men, they not going to just pass themselves around. So let's get into this list. Number one, men have to be the leader. 100%. No sympathy, no mercy. Stop sympathizing with these women. Stop, stop sympathizing. Well, she do make more than me, so. 
If she feel that way, then she could go somewhere else. Because truth be told, as men, whether they make more or not, whether they even if they celebrity, whatever their status is economically, you, you still going to bring things to her life as a man that she won't have without a man. She could have the biggest dog. I done seen women posting their dogs, Rottweilers and stuff like that. Hey, listen, you still ain't got no man around. You know? And I think a lot of women could. They got a little sight of they self, though. Like, you don't forget about yourself, but you need to lose sight of yourself. You got you to gotta be a team player. You got to be willing to be a team player. Till dudes, it's too much info out here now. What you used to do ain't going to work. You got me. You got all these other content creators. Everybody's saying something slightly similar, slightly different. So the message is getting out. So you're going to have to figure something else out. And what y'all been doing, it ain't going to work no more. It's too much, too much coaching, too much strategizing. So number two, women need to follow a man's lead regardless of personality and who makes more. You say, well, I'm just a boss B. Okay, well, boss B does not equal relationship. But relationships ain't for boss Bs. You, they're not. You can stop trying, all right? Because it's not going to work. Number three, women must be fully cooperative with polygyny. You say you got to be the only one. You're never the only one. None of you will ever be the only one. He's going to jag to somebody else. He's going to look at somebody else. He's going to have somebody else. You never going to be the only one anyway. I don't know why you think that. You're never going to be the only one. Our minds as men don't even work that way. So you might as well just go ahead and uh, cooperate a little bit. I have in parentheses. You get along with your coworkers. Why can't you get along with his other women? Some of y'all go to work. You don't even like half of your coworkers, but you know how to get along with them and how to not be combative and not fight against them. But you can't do that with women. You know why? Because you want your little stuff. You think you're going to put your little stuff on him. I don't care how cold you is with your little stuff. He's still going to think about somebody else's little stuff. I had to come to that realization. I Listen, I never cheated in my marriage. But I thought about other women all the time. From day one to day whenever it's going, you know. It's just something we do. And all you fake preachers, fake churchgoers, you need to shut the hell up. Ain't nothing wrong with them. That's just how men is. You got that preacher that talking about how bad his arthritis is. And I ain't, I ain't putting nobody down. And he talking about how bad his arthritis is. So that, that weeder, Peter, the Peter weeder probably having difficulties too. So he is hating on other people's Peter Weeders. Man, you ain't supposed to watch me. Not trying to hear you. Not trying to hear you. You can't put me in, you can't put me in heaven. You can't put me in hell. Not trying to hear you. You know how I know? Because I used to be one of those dudes that used to let my spirituality, my being religious, get in the way and be more judgmental towards other men. Until I started experiencing some of the things that they was experiencing, even before that. As long as I was humping, bang, 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 bang. I want to talk about the next man who was married, cheating with girls at work, maybe. And then one in particular, I ain't going to mention, but I found out some things, you know. I had delivered something to him. And I said... You know what? I got to stop judging them. Got to stop judging them because all these chicks at work like him. But the one at home needs assistance to get 
Excited? No, man. See, that's what guys is dealing with out here. I said, wow. I made a joke to him. I said, man, if you needed a couple pointers, man, you could have came out. He said, F you. He knew I was just joking around. He could take a joke. But don't expect a man or his mind to stick to one. Even when I was faithful, I was still thinking about, I had thoughts, y'all. I had thoughts, man. I had fantasies. I'm just going to be honest with you. And I, and I come to grips as a man. I'm going to always have them. That don't make me evil. Anybody that's telling you you evil because of your fantasies, that's a person that is playing God because they got their own. Like a lot of women confess that they have a desire to be graped. And that's why they always, they play this game. Like if you way bigger than them sometime, they be acting like overly scared. Like what if, what if he tries to grape me? Get out of here. You don't got to worry about that. And then you, you dudes be getting rough with these women, man. Psst. I wouldn't trust him. Be like, choke me, choke me, he choked me. As soon as you anima tell the police, you choked me. I got proof. I got scratches on my neck. Don't, do hey, listen. Now, now, me personally, I don't think that's sex. I think that's fighting, that's violence. I don't engage in sex. It's, hey, if it take that much for you to be pleasured, something is wrong with you. Some some of them you could go past and just rub rub your fingers across their neck like this. Maybe <sighs> other ones they need you to punch them. In. No, stay. No, 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 no. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away from me. Stay away. Now, I could make some loud claps, but I ain't punching, choking, none of that stuff. Biting. Well, I don't know. Well, let's get back to it. I don't know about eh, punching, choking off limits. No, nah, no. Number four. Stop trying to control men. Listen, I am six, two and three fourths tall. And I've been measured with my shoes off. Probably my weight fluctuates between maybe 270 and 285, depending on what I ate that week or that month. And I'm not no fat guy. See, now one chick tried to say I was fat. They said the same thing about preach. But here's what y'all don't understand. I saw how preach is built. I know how I'm built. Like if a person has big shoulders and, and they have a broad chest, some shirts, they're going to look like fat guys. Trust me, I ain't no fat guy. I, I got a little, y'all hear that? I got a little something there, but it ain't. It ain't out of, it ain't that much out of control. You know, it just it just differentiates, if that's a word, depending on what I ate. Like I just ate a whole bunch of fries. I drank a soda and I had a uh, it was like a chicken milk. It had chicken on it, a lot of cheese. Yeah. I don't believe in all that diet and stuff, man. I don't care like that. Now, and I want to get down to about 255. I want to get my muscles up and my weight down. But, man, y'all should know by now that I don't do things to impress people. I don't say things to impress people. And... To get back on subject, Isaiah 4 and 1, this is how you have to be as men. You, you trying to impress people, you trying to do monogamy. No. That's a, monogamy is a scarcity mindset for a man. 
We need to develop an abundance mindset. Because I'm going to show you something. I found out, just thinking, just thinking about, like, things that was going wrong, things that went right in my life. Like, I often reflect on my life. And I was sitting there thinking, like, the times I had the most money, I had a certain mindset. Monogamy will take away from that. Y'all see my plant in the background, y'all? Wait, hold on. But monogamy will take away from that because it'll put you in a, this all you got, this all you can get. And, and when you in that monogamy, it's like they expect you to work where they want you to work. They expect you to do, listen, because they know that you're very close to zero with one. Let me give you an example. You got one car and it break down. Now you walking everywhere. You ain't even got no, you, you can't drive. But what if you had two cars? The one car break down, you still on the road. I just don't believe in having one of anything. Because it never, when I think back, having one of anything, it just never works. The only thing that works is having one God. Other than that, and, and in some cases, it's like you got one kid. But other than those two things, like almost anything is not going to work. You play, you got PS5, you only got one controller, you limited that to what games you could even play. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so, number four, again, is stop trying to control men. And I have listed, don't interfere with his hobbies. And some of y'all got this strange thought, y'all think if a guy is up in age, like 45, 46, 49. Did that somehow mean something? Listen, I can have, listen, we're we not the same. It's not the same for women my age as it is for me. I'm stronger. Um, I can still, like, produce children. A 49-year-old woman try to produce a kid, he probably gonna come out and, and, and instead of walking regular, he gonna be trying to walk on his hands or some stuff. So, number five, agree in advance somehow against alimony and child support. Now, let me show you what I mean by this. Guys know what's at stake. I tell guys to Calculate it. Go calculate it based on your income. If you were married and you got divorced and you had one kid, calculate one kid, calculate two kids, calculate three kids if you want to. And then you'll see, is this worth it if it goes wrong? You got to be careful with that. man. Number six, be honest about your previous sex ploy slash relationship. See, one thing that I know destroys relationship is when the person is finding out more and more that you lied about along the way, either from you directly, if he knows how to vet, or from other people, or from this or from that, like that's going to put a damper in things. Well, I know I told you too, but it's really a eight. eight. You know, they favorite numbers, too. They'll either, some of them I had another try to say one, but they favorite number, like, and we're thinking back, going way back to the 90s, was always two. Then you find out it's way more than two. So number seven, because too many things you're supposed to do because they... Because okay, hold on, hold on. I got it. Let me let me see how I got this road done. B 
Because there are too many things that you are expected to do and not enough things that they are expected to do. Let me, let me say it like this. They put all these expectations on the man, but they don't help them. And they don't like when you give them too much responsibility. They'll, they'll actually, like I've seen women threaten to cheat. And I just watched a video today where a woman was basically saying that how women would cheat on a guy for working too much. And how stupid it is for them to do so. These women been coming at each other too. But when they have you up here, your expectation, and them down here, and they try to shut down all of this, this is monogamous garbage. Women, I guarantee you, they not going to do this if it's two or three of them. They're going to be, um, trust me, man, women treated me better when they, then they already knew. Yeah, they'll question you and they'll pout and they'll try to argue with you. But trust me, when they know they're not the only one, they be into you. But when you're the only one, they think that they doing you a favor. But you need to remind them. You ain't doing me no favor. All you got to do is think back. You think you doing me a favor? I did you a favor by getting rid of everybody. You did her a favor by getting rid of everybody. But they, somehow they forget about all of that. And they think they God's gift to you as if you didn't have nothing else going. You can't get nothing else going. This is why marriage is dying. It's practically dead. Marriage is, at this point is for dumb people. If you're not practicing polygyny and protecting yourself by not getting a marriage license and stuff like that, it's for dumb people. You listening to the wrong, you hearing the wrong voices. You going to church, you trust them people in church too much. They fight like cats and dogs at home. Then they come smiling. Hey, brother, how you doing? Hey, sis. She ain't gave him none in seven months. But she doing marriage? I'm telling you, people be hypocritical, man. People be hypocritical, man. And then the, the women go to thing is money. Well, he's broke. Well, he don't be paying his bills. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, where did you come in? Because some of them be working. Where do you come in? Where do you fit into all of this? It was okay signing the dotted line for all them high car notes and houses, boats, motorcycle. But then when money got tight, I told you we shouldn't have done this. I told you we shouldn't have put the, 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 the. You're a childish, you're too childish for a relationship. That little, I told you this, I told you, are too childish for a relationship. Just like when they try to compare you to other dudes, you are too childish. Them dudes ain't perfect, they self. Some of y'all girls and wives try to, every time they get mad at you, they try to act like every dude is better than you. He's not. In fact, you probably better than them. But that's what childish women do. This is why, man, you got to be. We had to be so picky and ticky when it comes to women in 2023. I don't care if they say you short. I don't care if they think now they're talking this medium ugly thing. This medium ugly thing. Okay, the dude you think is medium ugly, somebody else think he hot, he fine, he cute, he this, he that. Listen, just don't even care what they think about how you look. Oh, I'm ugly to you? Okay. I could be meeting somebody that think I'm cute. My time to talk to you is up. That's how we got to think, man. That's how we got to think. It can be relationships can be a thing again, but it's going to take a lot of work. More so on your women's side than men. 
A guy can be hitting the same stuff week after week, month after month, year after year, some guys. But if you start disrespecting them and you start trying to control them and manipulate them, it ain't your stuff ain't going to be all that no more. The chick at work probably look better than you and act better than you. So you expendable. The only thing y'all got going for y'all is these freaking family courts, man. I'm telling you. These family courts be having dudes like, like, stick them up, man. Give me everything. Empty your wallet. What's in your pocket? What you got in your pocket? That's all y'all got. That's why they, they, they hate this talk, man, because people telling people, no stepdaddy, which I'm going to talk about next. I'm going to talk about that today. It's going to be a short video, short but sweet as Thanksgiving caramel cake. Do not, no stepdaddy, man, no. And, and if you can, don't let no dude be around your kids. I'm telling you, man, stuff been happening to these kids, man. But anyway, we covered this very well. Monogamy is for you. We chocolate ones. It ain't that ain't even our fight. Our ancestors didn't do that. The Europeans, I'm going to do a members only video about why Europeans are monogamous. And how monogamy is they thing. So. You gotta, hey, my bronze level is only 70 cents, y'all. I made it that way for a purpose. Not that my quality of content, I did that just to show y'all that some of y'all, y'all just don't be wanting to support people. But we have more videos to come. Stay tuned.